Aloha and welcome to a tutorial on how to manage your voicemail settings online. We'll start by opening up a browser and entering the URL located here in the address bar. When that is completed, you'll go ahead and enter your seven digit mailbox number and your messaging password. Here is the general screen upon successful login. The menu on the left links to many features that will allow you to change its settings. The messaging access number is another means to access the voicemail versus utilizing the message inbox key on your phones or dialing 221 direct. You could also use this number to check your voice messages from an external line such as your cell phone. The mobile phone feature must be enabled in order to use the reach me and notify me features. Enter a seven digit phone number here. The play on phone is not available at this time nor is a default attendant. To utilize the personal attendant, enter a seven digit number here. This will forward your calls to your voicemail when callers press zero during your greeting. Please ensure that you save your settings before you move forward. The Reach Me feature manages how your incoming calls are forwarded. This feature is only offered to the users when there is no answer to your phone and not when the phone is busy. When callers try to reach me, either choose treat all callers the same or distinguish between priority callers and other callers. Priority callers are other voicemail users on the system. Call handling is when you do not answer your extension. You are able to identify where you want callers to go to when they get to your voicemail box. Forward calls to the reach me numbers below. Check this to send a call to your reach me numbers. Check this box to have the caller state their name to allow you to screen the call. Their recorded name is played when you receive the forwarded call and you can accept or reject the call. Reach me numbers. Incoming calls can be forwarded up to three numbers. The system tries to reach you using all your reach me numbers before forwarding a call to your voicemail box. Use the drop down menu choices to select your preferences. First, select an option from the drop down menu. You can either choose a reach me number or select go to voicemail. After X amount of rings, enter the ring duration in the field provided. Take note of when your reach me numbers go to voicemail. From the drop down list, select an option from the drop down menu. Reach me schedule can be set up if you only want calls forwarded during a certain time period. By default, reach me forwards calls at all times. Check the checkbox to enable the reach me schedule. Use the time and date options to select when you want your calls to be forwarded to your Reach Me numbers. Ensure to save your work at all times. The Notify Me feature sends you a notification when you receive a new voice message. Choose with a phone call to and you will see the seven digit number here you entered on the general screen. Text message unfortunately is not available at this time. To receive an email notification when a new voice message is received, go ahead and click this box. Enter your email address and to include the recording, choose save if any changes were made. My phone preferences allows you to customize your preferences when using the telephone user interface. Message playback order. Select how you would like to organize your messages when playing them back. By default, Messages are played starting with the newest message. You can set the message playback order independently for unread, read, and saved messages. Message playback speed. You are able to adjust the default message playback speed, either faster or slower. Date and time announcement. You are able to add or remove the date and timestamp for each message. Select the box if you would like to hear the date and time that a message was received before reviewing it from the telephone user interface. If you don't want to get the date and time stamp, deselect this box. Voice recognition for addressing. You are able to configure your setting if you want to use voice recognition and or the keypad to address your messages. Save your work before moving forward. This is the personal list screen. 
It allows you to create personal distribution lists, up to 89 lists, to send one message to as many as 99 users. If you have an existing list, you may edit or delete. To create a new list, click Add New List. Give your list a name, choose a list number, in the new member text box, enter the mailbox number of the member that you want to add to your personal list, and then click the Add button. The system displays the first name, last name, and the mailbox of the newly added member. Click to save your list. You may change your password at any time. Enter a new password in this field, reconfirm it here, and save your changes. The Advanced Preference screen is utilized to clear the mailbox number used as your Play on Phone user identifier. However, it also resets the red message waiting light on your desk phone. Press the Clear button to reset the message waiting indicator light on your desk phone. Use this when the light does not correctly reflect the state of your voice messages. This concludes the tutorial on how to change your voicemail settings. If you have any questions, please contact the IT department at 984-3283.